Folks, I figured we had to have one more small table for fall before the home tour right here on my take on home and garden. Hey, thanks for coming guys. I got a cool small fall table five seater <laughs> in 100% cotton. We're going to use this glorious autumn color tablecloth in the damask style, of course. And our inspiration today are these antique green chargers. Antique looking. And this kind of celery plate, dinner plate, by Ikea. Now the real supercharge influence today is this oriental Japanese plate that you saw me acquire in a thrift haul. Alrighty now, some of you act like you want to see a different something different in a napkin. So I'm going to take, here's our full napkin. Okay, we're going to take half. We're going to fold it in a simple triangle. Halfway once, and halfway again. And then double that over. And we're going to put that, since our dinner plate is not special, it's all about the salad plate today. We're going to put that under the salad plate like this. That's our place setting today. Then, if you'll let me, I got to have a new arrangement. It's going to be painless and quick. <laughs> you know, the Japanese are kind of minimalist. Ooh, that almost hurts saying that word. But I'll do my best. Okay, I'm going to take, out of all the vases we have, I'm going to take this ginger jar by Satsuma. Okay. And let's get a cute arrangement in there. This is going to be a little more formal, mostly roses, and I've got some turning fern just to push over that idea. We'll go with a couple of them. Look how cute. Then all closed roses, and we'll get some in the back. So we have a 360 arrangement. There you see it's starting to stand up on its own better. And I'm working with 10 roses, 10 closed roses today. So that's 12 pieces in this arrangement so far. I want to counter that side with the ferns and come in here with this heavier piece of lavender. Dimensionally staying away from the fern but in the front I'm going to put this bittersweet branch. And I want it nice and straight up and down. It shows formality. The way they do things in their buildings and their architecture. It's very linear. Okay, up and down, horizontal, what have you. I've got three lavenders to place around the vase. 
and just want to get those balanced. Oh my goodness, guys, look how cute. I think I want a center medallion. It helps make it a little formal. Ooh, scary minimal. Looks minimal to me. <laughs> really loving the colors. This was important because there's not a lot of fall colors in the plates other than green. Somebody could say, well, that could be a spring setting, but not when we're done. It's not. So we got some ancillary pieces like Mr. Pheasant and some really cool pumpkins. Look at this come together. We're going to get the rest of our chargers. Uh, I got a biscuit jar and a couple more pumpkins and look at the colors. Too cute. We got the rest of our napkins. All kinds of different ways to place them. You know usually we have a sweet looking plate some vintage or antique plate and we're not gonna cover that up that's why i go to the left usually with the flat napkin Now we have some cheeses coming. And a cracker plate. Now I've got to collect up the silverware and remind our friends, our new friends, if you like what we do on our channel and you're inspired and you're having a good time please subscribe as you know it costs nothing it's easy to come in and out and forget to subscribe it doesn't hurt anything and of course on YouTube it's all about numbers so it does help us stay here thanks so much for considering subscribing to our channel now i don't know if you're gonna believe it but i got the sweetest oh goodness sweetest little cocoa pot and cocoa set that's got to come to the table and we're gonna put those cups i guess maybe about two o'clock one of our friends has the uh, pheasants glasses like we do. Incredible vintage set, just glorious. And she said, I can't wait for you to use them again. Well, your wait's over. Even though this is in an oriental vibe and slightly minimal we're still using the little wine glass or to them that size would be like a sake which is their rice wine now we got just the sweetest little teacups it is a cocoa set, cocoa pot, but we're having tea and we're having 
green, ginseng, tea, with lemon and raspberry. Just a couple of ancillary pieces. Gonna have a little fruit and get some slices out of that. We'll have our berry bowl and just a cute three-dimensional accent, I would call it. And I want to add some interest in those places that might not have, you know, a ton of interest. So look at that. Little bit, little bit can do. Now, if you've been with us, you know that dinner knife is going on the right. The dinner fork and salad fork on the left. Then we have a dinner spoon and a dessert spoon on the right. Alrighty now. I can't believe it, I think. Well, I wanted to tell you what we're having. We're having, I do a honey mustard chicken on a stick, wild rice, okay? Egg drop soup, and we're nuts about it. And you know, some stir fry, stir fry veggies that have the pea pods. We, we all love it. Little pea pods and the little corns <laughs> with some Worcestershire. Now, I can't believe I got to take you and show you all around. So folks, thanks for coming by, and if you liked our elegant table today, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a friend over. We'll be waiting, we'll be right here. Tell them how much fun we have. Check out the merch store, guys, and we'll see you next time for our over-the-top, elegant dining experience. <laughs>